Hi, I'm Dwight Gow and you're watching Newcastle Fan TV. Hello everybody, what a day, yeah, what a day for Newcastle United. So the lads had returned to pre-season, well back from pre-season along Benton uh, up the road from here. Um, we're going to be looking at a quick video uh, pictures from the Chronicle in just a moment, but you know, there could be, could be a breakthrough tonight slash tomorrow from Florian Lejeune. Now the Chronicle have reported that he is on Tyneside, whether he's at Long Benton, where is it Benton, sorry, or is he here? at St James's are probably thinking he's at Benton and they'll probably come here to do the, the official paperwork so hopefully we can get that over the line because you know the, the forum meeting which which Newcastle have uh, give out snippets saying that look there is good news coming just be patient and a lot of fans were getting a un, little bit unrested with, with the with shall we say the news of nothing happening so to speak but it looks like we could get this one over the line in the next day or two so hopefully that goes to plan as well. Um, so, as I mentioned at the start of the video, there Newcastle players were coming into pre-season today, and there's some f some faces which they haven't really seen on Tyneside much. He has he has the video. Matt Ritchie there, alongside Kieran Clark and Jamal Sells. No massive secret that Kieran Clark and Jamal Sells because they've become uh, quite big friends since they've obviously seen Kieran Clark come on Tyneside. There's Carl Darlow, just making sure he's got all his kit in the back of his uh, in his boot there. He's with, uh, I think it looks like Paul Wilson. There's Grant Hanley, rumoured to be rocking it in with his shorts, rumoured to be on his way out of Tyneside with Florian Lejeune, possibly heading in. We'll have to see how that develops, you know. And that is Emmanuel Rivier and Henri Savé. Yes, strangers there, giving Serena a good old shake of a hand there. And he has some more, obviously, players coming in. This is, well, not players, sorry. This is Antonio Gomez Perez, who is Rafa's assistant, with his nice looking Porsche there getting some help getting his uh, kit in obviously he will undergo uh, plans with Rafa there's little Dwight Gale shaking hands with Serena Taylor there uh, making his way in rocking it and there's a uh, Masaido Hidara now we've got who he was there for a minute there as he rocks in and following just behind him is Mo Diame with a lovely green bag there gives uh, Serena a nice welcome kiss and in he goes gives everyone a nice handshake and there's another forgotten man, Seemed Young, comes in with a taxi. So he's rocking it in, uh, double denim there, and he's grey. And uh, he's got his football boots, gives Serena a nice shake of hands. The other guy there who he's shaking hands with, he's also part of the NUFC TV team, for you guys who are wondering. Adam Armstrong returns, what does his future hold for, for over the pre-season? I think he needs a massive pre-season because we don't know what's going to happen with Adam, whether he's going to be loaned out again. And that's Ashraf Lazar and DeAndre Yedlin rocking in. Those two have been all over America on holiday together uh, in the gym in Las Vegas. I think it was all, all also over LA as well, wasn't it? Isaac Hayden meets up with uh, John Joe in the car park there. Good teammates there, except for midfield pairing. How crucial are those two going to be for our campaign? Does that position need strengthening? Let us know what you think in the comments uh, box down there below, as, as per usual. Welcome everybody. Tim Crow, another forgotten man. He's very well liked on Tyneside, as you can tell there, shaking hands, cuddling, he's very well liked. Uh, gives cuddle to Serena, he knows her quite well. So again, future, what is his hold? Pre-season again, I think it's massive for him as well to see how he develops in pre-season, whether he's got a future or not, the club will have to see how that gets on. So some strange characters there, Sim De Jong, Emmanuel Rivier, Henri Savé, you know, ghosts, so to speak, uh, they're back on Tyneside. We'll have to see how their future goes. Kim, Tim Cole's another one, you know. But, you know, hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll get this signing. That's that's what I want over the line now, Florian Lejeune. So, hopefully we can get him over the line here at St. Jibbs Park, you know. Uh, I'm going to leave you to it. This always happens. An ambulance always goes off whilst I do videos. Get your comments down there below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you later.